Tonight I'm observing the M81 group of galaxies. By group of galaxies, I don't mean the galaxies which are related. I mean the few galaxies that are around M81. So let's go and see what we can find. I have the chart for you here. You can see what I'm talking about. It's quite easy to find it. And uh, this is the this is the wide angle image of this group of galaxies that I'm talking about. I've marked them also. You can read it. Okay, I'm now looking at the Bode's galaxy M82. I use the Max Vision. Uh, uh, 24 millimeter 82 degrees to find it this is in a constellation your some major and then I change to 13 millimeter APM 100 degree eyepiece and it's quite easy you can see mottleness you know just clumpy bits in it it's agent galaxy which probably have gone undergone a collision and it has now huge starburst and dust lanes also passing through the center of it. We can see many of these things that I'm talking about just by looking at it. And uh, what is interesting is that what we are seeing with the telescope is a galaxy M82 which is undergoing collision. It's amazing. Two galaxies are cannibalizing each other and taking gas, ripping the gas from each other's uh, uh, you know, gravitational field, contracting them or dispersing them. Contraction creates more stars, younger stars, a uh, star burst, uh, and new stars being born, you will see that. It's one of the easiest uh, targets in the night sky, so when the thing is not very good, you can actually be sure you can see this. I've seen it even during the you know, full moon, so it's easy. Adjusting to it is the M81, is a beautiful spiral galaxy, one of the few galaxies that you can actually glimpse the spiral arms of it easily. They're both bright, uh, probably even in a very dark location, you can see them with the naked eye, especially eight. M81 and uh, now I'm look using the square watch for 12 inch uh, 30 uh, centimeter flex tube 300p telescope to look at it I'm using this shroud here as you can see and uh, just to block the stray right lights when coming toward me <coughs> It's quite bright galaxy, it's easy to see, one of the easiest. Um, I had a video about this mentioning that I've observed it, but not a specific one for this galaxy, so I'm hoping that this video will be really interesting. Uh, M81 Spiral Galaxy was one of the one galaxies that actually, in 1990s I think, we found a supernova in it. And the supernova got very bright. There are two stars visible, and there are four ground stars near the core of this galaxy. And uh, the supernova added another th third star, which was actually fur much further away. So it was not in our own galaxy, unlike those two ones. And that's the way we found that there is a new star there. It's beautiful. You can see the beauty of the spiral arms in this galaxy, even through a telescope. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really exciting target. Easy. Okay. Uh, why I use the higher magnification now after finding it with a. Uh, finder eyepiece. Okay, the reason is that when you use a higher magnification like a 13 millimeter or something close to that, uh, what you are doing is that reducing the area of the sky visible and practically reducing the glare or the glow of the atmosphere. Our atmosphere glows and when you reduce the area you're actually reducing the amount of the glow coming to your eyes which may mean practically the 
is the contrast may mean that the contrast between the background of the sky and the object the target you observe will increase so you see your target easier so i recommend when you want to when you found an object go and change to a higher magnification lower uh, number focal length uh, eyepiece so you can see actually more details um, you can use this technique for many galaxies of course galaxies are very bigger object compared to the solar system objects so uh, it depends on the target for something like Andromeda galaxy I don't recommend probably using this method but for this galaxy M81 this really works I'm also M82 it beautifully works Notice also is the core of the M81 is so bright. It's relatively brighter than much, much many other galaxies that I've seen. You can see the spiral arms of it, but the core of it is really bright. It's almost a star-like. I don't think there is a star superimposed on the image of that. So it must be really intrinsically a bright core we are seeing here. I wonder if it's undergoing some kind of, you know, I don't know if it was a black hole activity devouring nearby, you know, clouds of gas or masses around it. It's quite bright for a galaxy, for a closed galaxy. Okay, I'll move now the... Uh, let the uh, M81 go out of field of view and I'm seeing more nebulous features i suspect there are other galaxies around it not related to it probably but around superimposed on the uh, and the vicinity of it so i'm going to look at uh, star charts and see what they are they're very interesting i can see them e quite easily they are as bright as the m1110 um, in the andromeda galaxy as easy as as difficult as that Okay, remember when you are observing the faint fuzzies and nebulas and such things always use averted vision you will see a lot more a lot more uh, this is this makes the difference between seeing and not seeing something so averted vision means instead of looking with the you know central of your view directly at the target just roll your eyes and uh, as if you are looking to the uh, closer to the edge of the field and then the details in the center of the field will pop up into your view and you can see easy uh, very fainter details okay I changed the eyepiece now to a max vision 34 millimeters 68 degree eyepiece um, because I wanted to see the galaxies around the M81 the two stars are mentioned the foreground stars Another foreground star also in this spiral arm. They make a triangle. If you extend the triangle that uh, from that triangle toward the base of the triangle, from the single star toward the two stars, and extend it, you will come to a, a similarly bright star. Um, adjacent to it is a another galaxy. There's a tinier version of the, uh, you know. M81 uh, is as uh, as probably I can say that yeah the size of it, angular size of it is as the core of the M81. There's a galaxy is visible there. It, it appears like a smudge, nothing more than that. And uh, I wonder if I can find more details about it by looking at the literature just to see what is it. What I can see it now, so it's easy to see. Wow, I changed now to the APM 13 millimeter, 100 degrees, and I can see the galaxy NGC 3077 much clearer. And not only that, I can see some, some I don't know what to say, 
some veins as if in it, some mottliness. Uh, it's kind of like a, a oval, but a little bit extended in one side or two sides probably also. It's just strange, strange shape. These are the details you have to look for it, of course, you know. When you look for it, you will see it. It's not very obvious, you have to look. And you have to, you know, adjust your eyes to the darkness. Okay, I'm now using the Teleview Nagler Type 5 or Type 5 31 mm 82 degrees eyepiece. And uh, I want to find another galaxy which is uh, close to the M81. Okay, I'm now using the Teleview Nagler Type 5 uh, 31 mm uh, 82 degrees eyepiece. And I'm looking at the uh, NGC 2976 galaxy again close to the field of view of the M, um, M81 and M82 but lower part compared to the previous one that I mentioned so this is quite fainter than the the one I mentioned before this and uh, but if you follow the uh, those two stars I mentioned near the core of the M82 on the spiral arm of it. Then you come another two, another two stars, a little bit brighter, slightly lower than that. Then extend those two in the midway to the next, uh, to the target, uh, and you see 2976. You see two another star, and then you come down, you see something like a, a 182 asterism, 82 degrees asterism of stars. Uh, quite clear and at the middle of that angle that they make this galaxy is this fainter is fuzzier is a bit more extended in at least in my view and uh, quite not as easy as the previous one but yet you can see it if you know well what you're looking i'll provide a chart for you so you can actually know and also a field of view uh, photo of that so you can find it easy so, so far in that area I've seen four galaxies, M81, M82 and those two fainter NGCs. Okay, now I'm back to the 13mm APM. And I'm looking at that NGC 2976 again. And uh, I can say that there is a foreground star that's a slightly lower than that. Um, and the shape of this galaxy itself is difficult to determine. But when you look at virtual vision and after adaptation of your eye to the darkness, you can see the shape of it is almost like almond, uh, if I'm not wrong in that judgment. And then you can barely see some halo around it. I'm not sure about that. Those halos, this is strange. It's like a circle, semicircle surrounding it. This is strange. Maybe I'm seeing things, but uh, <laughs> anyway, it must be something that I'm seeing it. 